Should you buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus in 2023? It might seem like an odd choice given that this flagship device was released 4 years ago in August 2019, and 4 years is a lot especially in the world of smartphones. When it first hit the market, it had a hefty price tag of $1100. Currently, you can easily get one for around $230, and this begs the question, does the drop in price indicate a drop in quality, and can it still compete with phones at a similar price point? Let's dive right in. The design of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has to be one of its standout features. It carries the beloved boxy note design that people have loved for years. When it comes to aesthetics, this phone still shines in 2023. It's available in four stunning colors, Aura Glow, Aura Black, Aura White, and Aura Blue. Each color option offers its own level of beauty, but it's hard to deny that the Aura Glow variant steals the spotlight. It's not a single color, but rather an iridescent finish that changes colors when viewed from different angles. The only problem with the glass back is that it's a fingerprint magnet. If you're someone like me who prefers the sleek look of a naked phone, this can be a downside as you'll constantly find yourself wiping away smudges. And so you'll be forced to use a protective case which makes the phone bulky and less beautiful. Aside from the looks, the phone has excellent build quality. The front and back glass panels are protected by Gorilla Glass 6 which provides durability against accidental drops and scratches. It also has IP68 water and dust resistance, so you can take underwater selfies without worrying about spoiling it. Just don't stay with it underwater for a long time. Now there's one design choice that may still annoy some users, the absence of a headphone jack. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus was one of the first phones in the trend of removing the headphone jack. A shame. So you might want to get wireless earbuds for your music needs. Now let's turn our attention to the display of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and I have to say, despite being 4 years old, this display remains one of the best you can find on any phone. First, let's talk size. It's a massive 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display. This large canvas provides an immersive experience whether you're gaming, streaming content, or simply browsing the web. In terms of resolution, it doesn't disappoint either. It has a QHD Plus resolution of 1440 by 3040 pixels, ensuring crisp, sharp visuals for all your content. Plus, the minimal bezels and curved edges that roll over the sides make it look incredibly sleek. There's a small punch-hole selfie cutout at the top center of the phone, but it's not obtrusive and hardly a distraction. One notable feature is its HDR10 Plus certification, which means you can expect excellent color accuracy and dynamic range when watching HDR content especially in popular streaming apps like Netflix or that other one that you watch alone while in incognito mode. It also has an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor right into the display. However, there's one downside to mention here. It lacks a fast screen refresh rate, and like many modern phones today that have 90Hz or 120Hz displays. If you're coming from one of those, transitioning back to a 60Hz screen will feel really bad, especially for those who prioritize smooth scrolling and animations. Turning our lens toward the camera system, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus doesn't disappoint. At the back, you'll find a versatile triple camera setup featuring a 12MP wide-angle lens, a 12MP telephoto lens, and a 16MP ultrawide lens. For those who love selfies, there's also a 10MP front-facing camera. One of the standout features of this camera system is its ability to capture 4K video at both 30 and 60 frames per second which is impressive even by today's standards. Whether you are recording your travel adventures or creating content for your social media platforms, the Note 10 Plus clearly has you covered. When it comes to photography, this phone truly excels. The photos it captures have great dynamic range and contrast, and the presence of optical image stabilization ensures your shots remain steady even in conditions that are not ideal. It's worth noting that the image quality from the Note 10 Plus can still compete and in some cases outshine many phones released in 2023, especially when you consider its incredible price point of US$230. Now let's talk about the performance of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. As I've already mentioned like a billion times, this phone is indeed 4 years old and in the ever-evolving world of smartphone technology, that's a significant chunk of time. Despite its age, the Note 10 Plus remains a formidable performer and that's largely thanks to its flagship chipset, the Snapdragon 855. While it may be considered old by smartphone standards, 
It's important to remember that flagship processors are designed to perform well for years, often outclassing newer budget processors. When you compare the Snapdragon 855 to some of the processors found in the phones released in 2023 at a similar price point, such as the Snapdragon 695 or the Snapdragon 4 Gen 1, the Snapdragon 855 still reigns supreme in nearly every aspect, except perhaps power efficiency, and that is to be expected. With a generous 12GB of RAM and an option for either 256 or 512GB of storage, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus handles multitasking with ease. Whether you're running multiple apps simultaneously or diving into resource-intensive games, this phone won't break as well. In fact, it outperforms all phones released in 2023 at the same budget price point. Now being a Samsung Note phone, it's no surprise that it comes with a stylus. While the S-Pen on the Note 10 Plus might not be as fast or as advanced as the newest one found in the S23 Ultra and the Tab S9 series, it's still a fantastic addition to the phone. And I doubt if you can find a budget phone with a stylus aside from all flagships like this one. You can use it for note-taking, sketching, doodling, and more. It even supports air gestures, allowing you to control certain functions without touching the screen. So whether you are a creative artist or simply someone who appreciates the convenience of jotting down notes with a stylus, the S Pen remains a standout feature on the Note 10 Plus. This device originally launched with Android 9 and Samsung's One UI back in 2020, and it received updates up to Android 12 and One UI 4.1 which is the final software update for the phone, so it won't receive Android 13 and subsequent updates. In a world where newer phones are already running Android 13 and looking ahead to Android 14, choosing the Note 10 Plus means you won't be on the cutting edge of software and will be left behind. Now let's discuss battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus comes equipped with a 4300 mAh battery, which is a respectable size. It's paired with a 45W wire charging capability and 15 watts wireless charging. Additionally, it supports reverse wireless charging, which allows you to juice up accessories like your smartwatch or even other phones. In terms of day-to-day -day use, the battery life is decent, with moderate usage. You can expect it to last through a full day without needing a recharge. However, heavy users may find themselves reaching for the charger before the day is over, particularly if they engage in resource-intensive activities like gaming. So, should you buy the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus in 2023? The answer isn't a simple yes or no. It depends on your priorities and what you value most in a smartphone. There's no denying that this phone is 4 years old, and that's a fact you can't overlook. But, and it's a big but, it's still a flagship phone, and it comes with all the qualities that make flagships so enticing. You get excellent cameras, an exquisite design, a stunning display, superb build quality, and reliable performance all the features of a premium smartphone experience. These aspects alone make the Note 10 Plus a tempting choice, especially when you consider its budget-friendly price tag. However, it's important to acknowledge its drawbacks. The absence of a headphone jack might be a deal-breaker for some, and the fact that it won't receive any more software updates may not sit well with those who want the latest software features. Additionally, the lack of a fast screen refresh rate may disappoint those coming from modern devices. Yet, here's the thing, I feel like you can work around these issues. You can opt for wireless earbuds instead of wired earphones, and the absence of the latest Android updates may not be a concern for everyone. As for the screen refresh rate, you can also ignore it. I mean, even Apple continues to sell $800 iPhones with the same 60Hz refresh rate, and they still sell millions of them shamelessly. So clearly, it's not that big of a deal for a large chunk of the population. Personally. I'd be more than willing to overlook these drawbacks if I was still getting exceptional performance, a gorgeous display, and top-notch cameras, and that's precisely what the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus offers. When you compare it to the quality of newer $230 budget phones from 2023, none of them can measure up in terms of overall performance and features. So if you're someone who values a well-rounded smartphone experience at a budget and doesn't need the absolute latest and greatest, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus could be a fantastic choice. What other phones do you think we should talk about? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you like the video, you can subscribe, like, share and even comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Milan and I'm signing out.